Hey, my name is Jordan, and every day on this channel, I teach people how to make money and have more freedom. If you like money and you like freedom, then subscribe to my channel and smash that like button. So I made a video a while back on how much I make in my rank and rent lead generation business and what tools and softwares I use to manage everything. And I figured it's been long enough to give you guys an update on exactly how much I make, but also what tools and softwares I'm using currently to grow and manage my rank and rent business. But most importantly, I've doubled my income since then. So as of February, 2022, I make over $30,000 per month with my rank and rent business. By the way, all the links for these tools are down in the video description. And if you wanna support my channel for free, then please use those links when you're purchasing any of these tools. You get a great deal and I get a small kickback, so it's a win-win. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Oh, and by the way, if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about with any of these tools and how they all fit together in a business model that makes me $30,000 per month, then go to leadgencoaching.io. You can opt in there. And then on the next page, you can actually see more about me, my story, and exactly what this business model is that allows me to make $30,000 per month completely passively. All right, so first item on the list is Namecheap. Namecheap is definitely the best place to buy your domains. Everyone thinks of GoDaddy when they think of domain names, probably because of those old, really trashy Super Bowl commercials. Yeah, very cringe. Uh, I really don't like GoDaddy. Namecheap is the best place to get them because they're only nine bucks a year. They have a much better user interface, a much better support. Um, and GoDaddy, I think they charge a minimum of like 12 bucks per domain. So immediately you're saving three bucks per domain. And when you're buying as many domains as I am, I think I own over, you know, 250 or 300 domains that adds up, right? Um, so the annual cost, you do the math, right? So use Namecheap. It's the best. All right, second item is Cloudways hosting. So Cloudways is a managed VPS web host, which means you get the benefit of a VPS server or a virtual private server um, without the headaches of knowing command line and everything is just managed through a really nice user interface, okay? So I've been searching for a really good web host for a number of years. I've used Bluehost, I've used SiteGround, um, I've used you know most of the web hosts out there and I've landed on Cloudways because for what you're getting uh, for the speed and the tools, you're really only starting at 12 bucks a month. And uh, this plan right here could probably fit, you know, 10 WordPress websites on uh, this uh, single, you know, hosting account right here. So I've actually upgraded all the way up to um, this for, you know, my agency uh, web host for a lot of my client websites because they require more processing power you know, one of them's a real estate agent site, which uses a lot of photos, that sort of stuff. Um, so you can definitely uh, easily, you know, bump yourself up to the next tier. And they actually just uh, offered this for free, a uh, free object cache, which is pretty amazing. So this will make your websites absolutely blazing fast. Definitely recommend Cloudways. All right, next up is Jasper.ai. And this is easily one of my uh, favorite tools on the list because it helps you write content. Uh, obviously websites need content. You need to tell Google what your website is all about. And this is an artificial intelligence that will help you do that. I believe this is actually built on Google's GTP3 uh, AI, which is hilarious, right? So we're basically appeasing to an algorithm and using another algorithm to help us do that. We live in a very strange world, right? But Jarvis is an absolute time saver. So instead of bashing your head against the keyboard, thinking about what to write for tree service or plumbing, um, you know, in the very beginning, I actually became an expert in tree service, right? From a content standpoint, I did a ton of research. I researched everything there was to know about, uh, you know, rot in trees and trying to save trees versus getting them removed tree removal, the safety of doing so, uh, emergency tree services, you name it, right? I was writing all of the content. And that's definitely something that you should do in the beginning just so you can understand your niche a little bit better and you can speak to the potential clients in a much higher capacity 
um, but it also helps save on costs, right? So if you don't have uh, the money to drop $100 a month on a tool like this, you can definitely do it yourself. But um, if you're ready to splurge, this will save you so much time. Basically, you just copy paste some content and this AI will rewrite all of the content for you and then you just throw that on your website. All right, hold the door for number four. It is call rail and I promise that's the only one that rhymes on this list. <laughs> so don't leave yet. Don't stop the video. Continue watching, please. Uh, call rail is awesome because it is where you buy your phone numbers. Obviously, each website needs a different phone number. So then you can forward those leads and phone calls to uh, your respective client. And call rail is $3 per month per, uh, per phone number. Um, but there's actually a way to get cheaper phone numbers. I still use CallRail. I still have a very large bill with them every month. Um, but next on the list is LeadSnap, and LeadSnap is a way to get those numbers uh, cheaper. So as you can see here, it has an integrated phone system um, to where you can get a dollar fifty phone numbers, um, depending on the, the plan that you choose, um, which is absolutely awesome. And LeadSnap is actually built by a friend of mine and he built this for lead generators by a lead generator. He's been doing this for a number of years and there's just so many awesome features in LeadSnap when it comes to managing clients, managing lead flow uh, through your agency, um, you know, deal pipelines for sales, GMB ranking heat maps. And this, by the way, is an awesome sales tool. If you're looking to pick up clients very easily, you can just show them where someone is ranking or where their business is ranking compared to their competitors. And uh, they get kind of upset, right? If they see a sea of red um, and that's their position compared to you know Joe Schmo down the street who's taking all the leads, you can show them visually through this tool and it just helps uh, illustrate the opportunity in the market for you to go ahead and go in and optimize their map listing and get them more leads uh, for their business. So um, covering LeadSnap uh, can definitely be a completely separate video. I go over this in depth in my course, uh, so definitely check this one out. Now, number six is Gravity Forms. And this is an important one because it helps me manage the data flow from user-generated content from my lead gen sites. What that means in layman's terms is when someone submits a form, you want it to go somewhere, right? So this easily allows me to send those leads and form submissions to my client um, or directly integrate with LeadSnap because it integrates with WordPress here and Gravity Forms. Um, so you can actually send that data directly into LeadSnap and uh, manage the leads that way as well. And there's a lot of really cool add-ons here that you can build out really robust user experiences and um, just a lot of different apps that you can connect to this thing and believe me forms in wordpress are a pain in the ah. you don't want to be setting up forms dealing with smtp from the server it's just something you don't want to deal with the way i teach it uh, in my course is you set up cloudways um, you use the add-on for elastic email you install gravity forms you're good to go. You don't have to do any more configuring um, of the forms and you are golden. So coming in at number seven is Infinity. And this is where I keep all my data safe and secure. It recently came on the scene and before Infinity, I actually used Airtable. So if you're familiar with Airtable, uh, Infinity basically does the same thing, right? So it's basically a database builder where you can keep track of sensitive data, um, which is private to you and your company. So website login info, uh, email addresses, physical addresses, phone numbers, etc. You just create a single row for each one of your lead generation sites and you keep all of your data um, organized and safe. Now, speaking of passwords, it's good to back up those in more than one location. So number eight on the list is my favorite password manager, 1Password. Today I have 978 passwords stored in my 1Password vault, which is bonkers. Everything from website logins to GMB details to client credit cards and software logins. And with the 1Password Chrome extension, I can just hit command backslash or control backslash on Windows and it'll pop up a 1Password window 
and I can log in with my master password and easily just paste in whatever login it is for that website. So I don't really need to remember any of them. And there's even a password generator tool within 1Password to make memorable passwords, to make super secure, you know, 64 character long passwords. It's absolutely amazing and seriously a lifesaver. Everyone in today's modern age should use a password manager. My dad keeps his stored on like a, a Microsoft document. <laughs> I tell him, no, don't do that. That is very, first of all, it's insecure. Anyone could open that up. Uh, sorry, dad. But at only a few bucks a month, everyone should use a password manager like 1Password. Now, everyone has their favorite SEO tool and I actually have two, two. So number 10 on the favorites list and the first of the SEO tools is Ahrefs. Everyone pronounces this differently. Uh, ah refs, a h refs, a two refs. <laughs> so however you pronounce it, I think everyone can agree that this tool is the bee's knees. So you can easily just type in a URL. Let's just put in my agency website here and search. And it will actually show you all of the metrics about any website that you put into here. So the number of backlinks, uh, you can come in here, check out the backlinks. This is actually really great for doing the copycat method, which I talk about in my course, which helps with SEO rankings tremendously. Um, it shows you the traffic value that you're getting for free every single month to your website or to a competitor's website, right? So this basically means if you wanted this amount of traffic, this type of traffic based on what keywords you're ranking for, um, you would have to spend over $1,000 every single month to get that traffic via Google Ads, okay? So you're getting that traffic for free through organic search and it'll show you that right there. Ahrefs is also super key for my keyword strategy that I teach in my course. So you can come over here to the Keywords Explorer, you can type in a bunch of keywords and it will show you uh, the search volume and the competitive nature, the keyword difficulty of those keywords to see which keywords you should be going after and maybe which ones you should leave alone uh, until a later date, maybe further into your SEO campaign. Now my second favorite SEO tool and number 11 on the list is SEO Power Suite by Link Assistant. Now this isn't a cloud-based app like Ahrefs is and I know that might be a deal breaker for uh, some of you guys this is actually a program that you can download for Windows and Mac and Linux. And uh, it actually has four different programs uh, in here. So you have a rank tracker, you have a website auditor, you have an SEO spyglass, uh, which is similar to uh, this feature, right, on Ahrefs. And you have a link assistant. So link assistant will help you build relevant backlinks to your website. So all in all, it really has the same features as Ahrefs, but you kind of have to do everything manually, right? Because it's a desktop app, you have to manually update your rank tracking. You have to manually kind of um, basically create save files for each website you want to look at and then go back to that save file and open up that data because you will already have you know, the ranks in there and stuff like that. So every time you do an action in SEO Power Suite, it takes a little bit of time for it to crunch the numbers and show you that real-time data. You can actually automate, uh, ch you know, checking the rank tracking, uh, checking the metrics of a domain. You know, I have mine set to check the uh, open projects in the program uh, downstairs on my computer at 4 a.m., right? So I know by the time that I wake up for the day, um, all of those will already be done, they'll be saved, and I can just look at that data. So it's not a big deal, but something to be aware of uh, if you're thinking about getting this. Now, um, the biggest advantage of SEO Power Suite over Ahrefs is the fact that uh, SEO Power Suite is unlimited. So if we come over here to order, um, if you choose Enterprise, and they're actually having a really good deal right now, um, if you choose Enterprise, you get unlimited everything. You get unlimited keywords, unlimited websites, unlimited projects, unlimited absolutely everything. Um, compare that to Ahrefs and they limit you on the number of projects you can have or they charge you for it, right? So you're gonna be spending a lot more than, what is this? This is less than 50 bucks, right? 50 bucks a month. Um, you're gonna be spending a lot more than 50 bucks a month in Ahrefs 
to, you know, look at that many keywords to have that many projects. Another killer feature of SEO Power Suite is in the rank tracker. And in the rank tracker, you're actually able to uh, track where your website is ranking, or rather your Google My Business listing is ranking in the maps. Ahrefs doesn't do that, tisk tisk. And in my course, I stress the importance of getting a Google Map listing and ranking it uh, in the top three in the map pack because you will generate an exponential uh, amount of leads compared to if you're just going after the organic rankings of your website. So being able to track where you are in the maps is a huge plus for SEO Power Suite. And to get those rankings, you need proper on-page SEO, which is achieved with number 12, Surfer SEO. So you can just copy and paste your website links into Surfer and Surfer will show you what to do with your content, where to add more keywords, how to manipulate your headlines, everything you need to do to basically optimize your, your website and the content on your website to rank faster. And as I say, there's no point in filling a leaky bucket. So get your on-page SEO dialed in first and then start backlinking and you will save time and you'll save money. And last at number 13, but certainly not least, is the ClickFunnels killer drop funnels. Drop funnels is a cheaper, more powerful, more intuitive uh, than click funnels ever was and ever will be, okay? Not only can you create beautiful funnels for your offers, but you can actually build an entire optimized SEO uh, website on the back end because this thing is built on WordPress, which is absolutely amazing. I teach you how to use and build WordPress websites in my course how to launch those on your Cloudway server, all that good stuff. Um, but with Drop Funnels, you only get two websites, right, with your account. So I use it for my agency website and my leadgencoaching.io website. So I can have a front-facing website, uh, but I can also have an outsourcing store built with beautiful funnels and a beautiful checkout experience uh, for my students. And it's just a really nice tool, drag and drop interface um, that just blows click funnels out of the water. So there you have it. That's it. I use these 13 tools to build, manage, and grow my 30K a month lead gen rank and rent business. And I think that's pretty crazy if you think about it. These are the only tools that I use. And the overhead is so low that if you compare it to any other type of business model, um, that's pretty amazing, right? Because I'm able to make the money that I do without having to deal with inventory, rent, leases, massive power consumption, uh, payroll, employees, licenses. And I think that's why Rank and Rent, at least for me and a lot of other people, is possibly the best business model in the world to get into because you can do all of this from your house, right? Or anywhere in the world, all you need is a laptop and an internet connection, right? So you can even uh, be vagabonding in South America using Starlink on a top of a van or something, and you can build this type of business. Absolutely amazing. If you want to build the same business that I've built over the last couple of years, then please click the link in the video description below. Go to leadgencoaching.io, opt in there, go to the next page. You can learn a little bit more about me and my journey, my story, and then you can actually book a call with me to hop in the program right away. I teach you exactly step-by-step -step how to identify opportunities in the market, how to build a website for that opportunity, how to use WordPress, how to use the Cloudway server, how to create content, do keyword research, do the SEO, do the sales, get paid, and actually scale this thing to the moon. So if that interests you, please click the link in the video description sponsored by myself. And on average, uh, you know, you can rent out one of these websites for about $750 to $1,000 a month. Um, but I actually have a website that's making me $2,500 per month from a single plumbing website. Um, so it depends on the niche that you want to move into. So I hope this video helped um, explain kind of what I use to manage my 30K a month business. And I'll see you guys in the next one.